Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this pretty short video, I'm going to thrust test the iFlight Zing X2814 1100kV motor, the biggest motor which I've tested so far. I've already tested these motors when building and flying the iFlight DC-10 10-inch quadcopter, and today in this video we are going to find out its maximum thrust and ampere consumption using 4, 5 and 6S type of batteries in conjunction with 5, 7 and 10 inch propellers. The iFlight Zinc 2814 motor is available in 4 kV options. I've got the 1100 kV version which is compatible with up to 6S type of batteries. So first of all this motor is using high quality 18 AWG motor silicon wires with a total length of 30 cm. It weighs 91.9 grams and the motor bell is secured using a hex screw. In addition, the motor is using high quality magnets and here you can see how the motor bell looks from the inside. Unfortunately, I can already tell you that I've burned this motor when testing it using a 6S type of battery in conjunction with the 10 inch propeller However, I can also tell you that I've successfully tested it outdoors using the same setup and as I always mention, thrust tests are a little bit more harsh when performed on the bench. On my thrust test, when using the 10 inch propeller and a 6S type of battery, the maximum measured thrust was close to 4 kilograms and the maximum measured ampere was close to 54. After analyzing the thrust test results, which I'm going to include down below, I came to the conclusion that for a long range setup, I recommend to use a 4S like a battery, since cruising on the iFly DC-10 is done at around 60% throttle, and of course that if you're looking for more speed, you should use either 5 or 6S batteries. So now I'm going to show you the thrust test, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.